officials decided to break the news, rescue was far from imminent. It's likely to be months. We're talking somewhere around three months. Engineers need to finish the shaft to the underground chamber. But even with high-tech tools, getting to them safely won't be easy. The drill has resumed and is biting the trapped through the miners praise Precision the rescuers above. The rock is hard. Three rescue efforts have been going in tandem. First, using a heavy drill. This could take months. Quicker option. Plan B. To drill around the collapsed areas. Is now the one which has broken through. An incredible milestone. There are scenes of joy and excitement and jubilation. As the drill breaks down to these 33 miners who are trapped below. When we broke through this time on the 26 inch hole, we knew we had it done. The crew did a good job. The SRAM rig performed well to drill a hole that deep and that diameter to be able to pull all those miners up through without any issues. They got it so much quicker. I mean, they cut the time in half from what they were projecting. Plan B was a good plan in the end. The 130 is a quality rig, and if there was going to be an opportunity to get those miners out quicker, that was the right way to go. The SRAM rig definitely brought a faster end to the crisis. It was the right technology rig in the right place at the right time. We immediately started to try to find as much information as we could about the geology, the depths, things of that nature, and quickly we realized we had the right equipment to go down there and make a difference. The SRAM T-130 XD that was used in Chile for the mine rescue is a new piece of drilling technology that was first introduced by SRAM in 2002. And that drill is actually very small and compact, fast and mobile, and as you could see from the San Jose Mine Rescue TV coverage, the big oil field rig took 45 loads to bring in and it took weeks to set up and the smaller, more mobile SRAM rig could get in there in just a matter of days and get set up and get drilling. This is a SRAM T-685. In the first 17 days, these rigs are initially drilling the 40-some holes looking for the trap miners. You know, it's a SRAM rig who drilled the first, uh, pilot the hole, open up, big enough to set the, the capsule down to get the trapped miner up. The down the hole hammer method is inherently faster than other drilling methods and that's why the plan B rig, which was our rig, drilled faster than either the plan A or the plan C. There are not other rigs out there that have the same capability of drilling at an angle, drilling large diameters, the uh, portable compressor was invented in 1908 by my great-grandfather and it was an important invention at that time because it allowed work to be done outside a factory kind of situation and my father and my uncle continued and that's how we diversified then into making drilling rigs using compressed air and Still today, what's going on is the use of compressed air for down the hole hammer drilling that is faster. And when you're doing a mine rescue, it needs to be fast. We think that we've built some products that are definitely a, a different mousetrap. And that one of the key features at SRAM is that we're trying to promote safety. And we've built some special products to help do that that some of the drilling techniques that we can employ to do these large diameter deep boreholes. The Mine Rescue Seminar that we're hosting this week gives us a chance to address the coal mine fatality problem in China at a unique time in history when we've just seen a successful completion of a mine rescue done in Chile. Get the equipment ready in case there's an emergency. It is a SRAM who put all these uh, pieces together to solve the puddles and FAM play a key role in organizing these the seminars. Probably. Companies that possess high technology and high knowledge, uh, like SRAM, are capable to solve these the kind of challenges that the Chinese miners are exposed to. The SRAM rig with the center rock tolling, it is the fastest package that you're going to find for drilling a rescue hole. SRAM's been a great product. We probably ended up with about eight SRAMs over the last eight years. As compared to conventional oil field equipment, our equipment is much smaller. It certainly reduces the cost for site preparation, it increases the speed for the setup, and it reduces the cost of reclamation after the jobs are done. The successful rescue in October 
just kind of pulls all of our theories and ideas about mine rescue by drilling large diameter uh, deep boreholes together for us. The Chile deal proves a point. They moved a rig in that was 2,000 horsepower versus a little 130 SRAM that was able to do the job. Right down to the, to the lowest man on the totem pole, everyone's working together. I mean, just to see the camaraderie and, and the teamwork, the effort that was put forth to, to turn product around quickly and, and help for a situation like this, I mean, it was really amazing. When I heard that SRAM had sent a maintenance guy from here over there to be there 24 hours a day, I mean, that's just, that's, that's wonderful. To be involved in something this massive, I mean, it was just an absolutely overwhelming feeling when we finally broke through into that mine successfully. This gives you a little bit of pride, American pride. At the end of the day, they got all those guys out safely. That's a miracle. It's nice to be a part of something like that.